In this video, we're going to talk about how to order fractions from least to greatest. What we need to do is we need to get common denominators. So we're going to multiply the different numbers that are on the bottom to get a common denominator. So we're going to multiply 2, 3, and 5. So even though we have two threes, we don't need to multiply twice. Just once will be enough. So 2, 3, and 5 will give us a common denominator. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. So we want to get a common denominator of 30. 30 divided by 3 is 10. So I'm going to multiply 1 over 3 by 10 over 10. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So I'm going to multiply that fraction by 15 over 15. This one, I'm going to multiply by 10 over 10 because 30 divided by 3 is 10. Now, 30 divided by 5 is 6. So I'm going to multiply this one by 6 over 6. So I'm going to get 10 over 30. For the next one, I'm going to get 15 over 30. And then 20 over 30. And 3 times 6 is 18, so 18 over 30. Now that the denominators are the same, we can order the fractions based on the value of the numerators from least to greatest. So we have the numbers 10, 15, 20, and 18. The lowest of these will be 10. So we're going to write that first, 10 over 30. Since we're going from least to greatest, low to high, this is going to be less than the next one, which is 15 over 30. And that's less than 20 over 30, which is actually... 18 is the next number. And the highest will be 20 over 30. So now I'm going to rewrite the original problem, but in a proper order. So 10 over 30, we got that from 1 over 3. 15 over 30, that came from 1 over 2. 18 over 30, it came from the last fraction, 3 over 5. And 20 over 30 came from 2 over 3. So this right here is our answer. That's how we can order fractions from least to greatest. If you want to confirm the answer, what you could do is, using a calculator, you can convert each fraction to a decimal. 1 over 3 is 0.3 repeating, or 0.333. 1 half is 0.5. 3 over 5 is 0.6. And 2 over 3 is 0.6 repeating. So we could see we have the right answer. So that's how you can order fractions from least to greatest. The key is to get common denominators, and then you could rank them based on the value of the numerators of each fraction. 